Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your TP-Link router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. So, the first step is to power on the router. Take the power adapter. Connect one end of the power adapter to a wall socket and the other end to the router. And the other end to the router. Then press the power button. Once it's on, an indicator will light up. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port is often called WAN and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks into place. Now you need to reset the router back to its factory settings. Press and hold the router's reset button for 10 seconds. Wait until the lights on the router start to flash. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will restart and all the settings will go back to their original factory settings. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into an Ethernet port. Plug the other end into your computer or laptop's Ethernet card. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is now connected to your computer. Now, you will need to set it up. But before we begin, I will demonstrate an alternative way to connect the router if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Just connect the router to the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will be named as your router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great job connecting to the router. Now let's move on to the setup process. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. If the link doesn't open, or you see a page with a password that you don't know, it means that your router has already been configured and you need to reset it to factory settings. Then you can try to enter the router settings panel again. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. So at first you need to set a password for the personal cabinet of your router. Click on Let's Get Started button. I should also warn you that depending on the firmware version, you may not have some setup steps or they will be in the wrong order. Trust me, you got this. Just watch the video and follow instructions. On the first screen, select your time zone. If you don't remember which one you have, select any and click next. On the next page, select the type of internet connection. Usually it is specified in the contract with your broadband provider. If you don't know, you can try to click on the auto detect button. The router will try to identify what type you have. If it has failed, select dynamic IP and click next. 
Depending on what type of connection you have chosen in the previous step, this page may differ from mine. If you have selected Dynamic IP, then choose one of the options on this page. If your ISP only allows internet access to a specific MAC address, you need to clone the MAC address of the primary computer. If you are not sure about your MAC, select Use Default MAC Address and click Next. In most of the cases, there is no need to clone the MAC address. But if you can't get the internet connection after quick setup, please run it again and clone the MAC address for a try. On next page set name and password of your future Wi-Fi network. You can enable the available modes of your router. There will be one or more modes available. If there are several, enable them and enter for each network the name and password of your future Wi-Fi network. Password must be at least eight characters long. When you write the credentials, click on the next button. On this page, you can configure TP-Link cloud service. Do not touch anything here. Just click skip button. On the next page, you will see all the information that you specified earlier. Just confirm the settings by pressing next button. Wait until the router tries to connect to the internet by itself. If it's failed, check again whether you have connected all the cables correctly. Click skip, then try to reboot your router. But if it's not failed, then check whether the internet is available. Just Google something. If there is no internet, you need to reboot router. For this, go to advanced. Next, select system. Select reboot menu item and click on the reboot button. If the internet still does not appear, you need to log in to the router control panel using the password that you created at the very beginning of the router setup. Select Internet Menu button, and then Clone MAC address. After that, save the settings. Reboot your router again. After a couple of minutes, check internet connection. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.